your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back. Well, Josh, today was a really pretty day. You know, it, it wasn't a bad day. It started off kind of cool, got a little hot in the afternoon, but hey, that's kind of normal in August. Texas. But it ended really nice. Check out this sunset. This is from Nikki Lambert, and this was taken west of San Angelo off Arden Road. Look at the pretty oranges. I, I was out playing some softball this evening and saw the sunset from an area east of San Angelo, and it kind of looked pretty similar to this. Just the pretty oranges, some blues in there, really nice sunset, and it Honestly, it wasn't a bad day. It, we actually started off in one season and ended in another. This morning, we got up to 62 degrees. That's normally what we should see in the middle of May. And in the afternoon, climbed up to 98, more of what we should see in August. Actually, above average temperatures in the afternoon with that high near 98. So officially, woke up to 62, got up to 98. Our average this time of year is 96 and 72. Thankfully, no records there in 2010 and 1925 and 58. It was not 100 today, but we are in the 40s in our counter quite a few 100 degree days right now 84 degrees pretty pleasant night out there really calm too feels like 82 with the humidity at 26 percent winds are out of the east at six miles per hour and your pressure is at 29.92 inches and rising as we go through the night tonight expect another crisp another mild night with temperatures dropping down to the 60s mars saturn jupiter and another planet I forgot it, I think is Venus, are all out there tonight. So you can go see those. Can't show them to you because our Skype cam kind of went down recently, but hey, it's, it'll be pretty nice to check it out. After that, back to the heat. That means those triple digits are coming back, and it will end eventually. It's just going to take a while for those triple digits to go away. Just a little bit of static on the live high-res radar. We were watching a few false returns up towards Abilene. They may have triggered a few of your apps this evening saying it was raining. Definitely not the case. A very dry day today. And now we're going to wrap up July and head straight into August. Today's August 1st. Fourth jot is July on record. We only had five days of rain, and then three with rain at totally about trace. Trace is about a drop of rain totaling only about 0.64 hundredths of an inch. That's close to half an inch below normal and we're even further behind as we go on the year. Also second hottest summer on record so far. We still got 31 days to go. We'll see where we finish but so far we're living in the second hottest summer. Really really warm out there but not today. Today's pretty nice. 82 in Abilene, 85 in Midland, 84 in San Angelo. Down in the 70s along the Texas coast it's 86 in Sonora, 82 in Bront, 83 in Barnhart and 83 in Menard. Those dew points they're in the 40s. That's dry air. That means that we see these big temperature swings. It also means it feels really nice outside when you have these clear skies and these calm winds those dry dew points you get to see those temperatures go back into the 60s. That's what you'll wake up to tomorrow. Got a cold front to the north. It's not coming here. That high pressure is going to stay there. We're just going to stay with these warmer temperatures. Tonight, see those temperatures drop down into the 60s. Normally should be at 72. Our record was 58 in 1936. 67 is the low I'm calling for here in San Angelo. Thursday, climbing up to a high of 99, mainly sunny and warmer than today. Pretty much seeing those highs going back into the upper 90s. Take a look at your extended forecast. So we're going to see those temperatures stay on the hot side and the weather stay on the sunny side. Partly cloudy Thursday and Friday, a high near 99. We're back in the triple digits this weekend into Monday. And then tracking a weak tropical wave that may bring in some more clouds. Maybe a slight chance at a shower towards the middle of next week. I'm not holding my breath on it mainly going to knock that cloud cover down. And don't forget, winning with the weather Thursday night at midnight. Last time for your chance to sign up for our bonus round. This is the very last one. Family five pack of tickets to Slitterbond in New Braunfels. Announcing that winner during KCN News at 6 on Friday, August 3rd. So not a bad time to go to Slitterbond. You know, pretty hot, but at least it's not 108 like we saw last week. And at least the mornings are acting a little cool. It was nice this Definitely. morning. Definitely. It was like, it felt like it was like 65 degrees outside. It was pretty morning. close. We hit I don't know if you were awake this morning. I but. was <laughs> knocking back some Z's in bed, that's for sure. That's All for right. Sure. <laughs> well, coming up on KSAN News, an employee at a Miami subway is facing.